Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Super Mario Bros. 3 for the GBA or Game Boy Advance. So then let's probably take on the rest of um, World 1. It was an easy airship we beat one. Me, I'm guessing the first coupling. It was really easy. You know, I always get past the first world without a challenge, without any trouble, I guess you could say. But now we're in World um, 2, which World 1's always like a grassland, grassland usually. Usually. And, you know, World 2 is always like a desert land. So let's start with level 1. So yeah. So, um, these little blocks right here, they're, they're like a little tent. They're like a little lighter than the other blocks that you normally see. That's how you can tell if one, one block has a mini Goomba in it. So, um, because of the tent, it's a little lighter than the other blocks. So, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry I'm confusing you. It's just the lighter block where you can tell. And, if I grab this star, oh man, it's going backwards. It's going backwards. Okay, if, I, if we run... If we run here, we can take out that enemy, and we can actually fly up here to this um, pipe right here. We go down it, and then there's a power button, or a P-switch with coins. But you want to be quick on grabbing the coins too, because it actually affects lingers. Its effect will linger um, after you get down the top pipe, and you can go down here and grab this. And you can get a lot more coins right here, so it's pretty cool. Now if I can time this right, yeah. If you uh, press B when you have the raccoon leaf, um, you can spin and attack the little flame snakes, and if you time it right at the head, and hit the head, then, um, you will get, um, you'll knock it out, which is pretty cool. Here's another tent block right here, so it's obviously a mini Goomba. Now, if I can do this right and time it. No, I got mushroom, I must press it to wait. I wanted to get five up, but that's okay. That's all okay. I got the one up nice. As much as one at five up there, that's okay. Okay, so here's a, a little mini game. Flip over any two cards and see if they match. Miss two and you're out. Which this will come back later. Depends on how many like panels you get. Or completed panels uh, you get. So here's a fire flower. And fire flower. Nope, it's a mushroom, okay. Ten coins and a mushroom. Dang it, I missed it up. I didn't get the, um, any matches there, but that's okay. As always, next time. When that comes around. Okay. Keep lining up the pictures for more prizes. It's your big chance to get a 7-up. Yeah. Yeah, 7-up. Um, Yeah, I like 7-up. very sweet, but I haven't drank soda in like two, over two years now. And the hardest thing about that was giving up root beer because that was my favorite soda. But 7-up was really sweet when... um. It, it, um, when I still drink soda, you know, that's pretty cool. Now I just drink milk, juice, water, uh, Gatorade, Powerade, stuff like that. So if I can match this up, no, nope, of course not. Okay, it doesn't matter what the third one is because I already missed it. Okay, a mix of all three of those little uh, sections, you know, and that's not really that good, but that's okay. Oh well, so here's um another world, another level. I think it's the third or fourth level of this world. Here's a power up if you need it. You just hit the block with um on the left side like I did, and you get a power up, which is pretty cool. Now I think there's like a hidden one up here, but I could be wrong. I thought there was under that one of those blocks was a P switch. Oh, there's the one up. Nice, I found it. Awesome. But um, obviously uh the piece the 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 way the intended way was that um, dang it, the intended way was that. You wanted to um, hit the P switch, and every P every coin turned into block for a platform for you, and then every block turned into coins for you. So that kind of worked, vice versa, I guess. I got hit by that cheap cheap in the water, but that's okay. You got a star. It's pretty cool. A star panel. Okay, here's the uh, World Two Fortress, and I skipped the first two f f first World's Fortress because I got the whistle, so I didn't get face boom boom. But this time we will be able to face Boom Boom when we get to the end. Here's the Thwomp. And remember when Princess Peach said on the letter, Hey, watch out because you want to look at the boost or they give chase to you. You want to do that now? I keep on looking back. The first couple of times I played this game, uh, in the NES version of this game too, I forgot to look back so the boost actually followed me up to this point and it always hit me because I didn't always turn back for some reason and look at it to play, to play peekaboo with it, but that's okay. Here's another thwomp. 
What if I can get this item real quick? Okay, it's not it's not worth it because I can't even press down on my D-pad right now. But yeah, let's run. Because these swamps are out to get us. Okay, so here's a room with spikes. Very fun. Okay. Gotta get ready to run here. There we go. Gotta be careful. I always seem to get hit on these spikes, but today seems like it's my lucky day because I didn't get hit by the spikes at all. So that's pretty cool. So through this uh, room is Boom Boom. The little wall will, will be created so you're trapped basically if they defeat Boom Boom, but he's really easy. He's awfully... I find Boom Boom kind of cute because he's like a adorable character because he... He doesn't seem like a bad guy, but he is, you know. But yeah, he is obviously a bad guy because he's working for Bowser. But yeah, the level is cleared. Awesome. The fortress is cleared. And with that, the um that little block on that little roadblock uh, is unlocked, so we can actually go down that pipe and hit that and take that um visit that mushroom house. I should say, if we want to save our progress. Yes, we do. So yeah, this has been then my Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon, dang it! This has been then my Super Mario Bros. Three uh, GBA Let's Play part, and next part we'll take on the rest of World Two. So yeah, I see that the end card also um um also uh, reappeared. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this has been Giant Girl again. I would like to thank for sharing again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 GBA Let's Play.